Hello, this is Gene with Retrofix Games. Getting ready to open up some hero clicks from the new War of the Realms set. Haven't opened up hero clicks in a while, but uh, I have enjoyed them on many an occasion. And uh, War of the Realms was a, a cool event. Actually, it makes a really good hero click set because, like, so many characters are involved. They don't have to really go digging all that much. It does mean there's going to be a just load of Thor figurines, though. The Thor core. <laughs> Which I guess is the core of this set. Ah, that's a fun. But yeah, excited to tear into it. It, uh concentrates on the Asgardian part of uh, Marvel, which I like. And even when it concentrates on the Avengers, they are interacting with Malekith and Frigga, and you get a lot of the cool Norse gods and stuff. Plus a bunch of them get, like, Asgardian weapons, which is neat. Okay, so we have Thunderstrike, a uh, legacy sort of hero, basically the new Thor later on. Hawkeye, in kind of his classic duds. Groot, who I feel like should be bigger, but it's good sculpt. Kid Loki, relevant for the story, but, you know, with the Loki show being recent, also just, hey, it's another variant. <laughs> and then Loki Classic, I'm going to call him. But yeah, uh, War of the Realms sort of continues a proud tradition of Odin messes something up, kind of forgets about it, and then it comes back to bite everybody in the butt. <laughs> this time with uh, Malekith trying to take over realms and do all sorts of shenanigans. Vision. Oh. Got one of the, I think, rarer Thors. Not the cool chase one, but still. I do like that they started adding action plastic. Makes some of the characters more dynamic. Shang-Chi, also relevant with the recent movie and all. Got a pretty good looking Hulk there. And a Captain America with a classic shield pose. I haven't gotten anything too crazy yet, but a good mix of classic heroes. And then, you know, they always like to throw a few curveballs in there. Oh, Thanos. Very nice. Another kid, Loki. Our first dupe. <laughs> Blade. Also, when you deal with Thor, you get a lot, a lot more of the uh, supernatural elements of Marvel, which I always enjoy. 
Nah. The Executioner. Who I think most people probably just know from the movies. <laughs> Sort of an Asgardian mook. <laughs> Another cap. Oh, different color scheme. Nice. Oh. That looks exciting. Black Panther. Another Hawkeye. A Lady Sif. Another, oh, it's Scourge. Again, I think most people just know him from the movie. <laughs> and we got a big one here. They had to specially package it. Oh, Valkyrie. Very nice. Very dynamic sculpt. Surprised we haven't seen a cool Spider Man yet. <laughs> I think there's like three of them in this set, so hopefully, we'll see at least one of them. There's like a chase one with a cool dynamic pose and some action plastic, but I really like the one where he has the sword and shield because he looks like he's going to a LARP. <laughs> Dr. Annabelle Riggs. <laughs> Valkyrie. Ah. <laughs> Nebula. Another Valkyrie. And another Hulk. Oh, the Wrecker. Sort of a classic Thor villain there. He had uh, the Wrecking Crew with a whole bunch of weirdly construction-themed bad guys for the Asgardians to fight. <laughs> Ooh. I like this version of Vision with the clear plastic. Very cool. Got another Thor. Very cool. It's funny because the first part of the story, uh, we get almost no Thor because he's uh, trapped in another realm by Malekith so that he is out of the way. But by the end of it, we end up with more Thors than you can shake a Mjolnir at. Oh, we got Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Figured we'd get one eventually. <laughs> Can't have a big crossover without a Spider-Man. 
He's our mostly relatable point of view character for things. <laughs> like, end of the world stuff isn't a big shock to uh, Thor, because, I mean, Ragnarok's kind of their whole thing. Classic Loki. Oh, I forgot Angela's in this set. I wonder if uh, Neil Gaiman... Was it Neil Gaiman? Somebody, like... There's a weird rights thing for that character. Donald Blake. Technically still a Thor. <laughs> Nebula. Oh, and the Wasp. Nice. I haven't gotten nearly as many Thors as I thought we would. <laughs> but, still got it. Oh, I speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, the Enchantress. Classic Loki minion. <laughs> Although she probably wouldn't take kindly to being called a minion. Hercules. Another Lady Sif. Ooh, and Hela, mistress of hell, <laughs> ruling over Helheim. <laughs> Getting all these good Asgardians from this set. Kind of hoping we get Malekith or one of the big bads, though. Gotta have someone for the heroes to fight. <laughs> Another Thor. Ooh, nice. Yondu. Very nice. I was excited to see more of them Guardians of the Galaxy. Another Hercules. Black Widow. And a Scarlet Witch. Run out of room. Too many guys. All right, last box. We've already pulled some pretty good ones, but let's see if we can't finish on a high note. Spider's Man. Another one of those clear plastic visions. Oh, we got him! I love this version of Spider Man with the weapons crafted by the dwarves. <laughs> oh, and Throg, or Frog Thor. <laughs> Very nice.
And another Lady Sif. Wait. No, that's a... That might be a misprint, because that's a... That is very clearly uh, Scarlet Witch. Like... Yeah. Oh, that's a fun misprint. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll uh, have these on our website, or you can come on in the store and pick up some Thor minis or, you know, just some cool superheroes. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.